From the WGLT Newsroom, I'm Lindsay Jones. A lecture series at Illinois State University gives attention to the threat of nuclear war, which lawmakers and experts say is higher than ever. Climate change might be a 20-year problem, but nuclear war is a 20-minute problem. Nuclear physicist and physics professor Matt Kaplan organized 12,000 bombs as a way for first-time voters to explore the history, science, and policy of the United States nuclear program. Illinois' efforts to ban certain food additives could get attention at a Food and Drug Administration hearing this week. Alex Stegman reports. State lawmakers tried to ban chemicals like red dye number three and propyl paraben earlier this year. It got a lot of pushback from people who said the FDA should handle food safety, not lawmakers. But now the FDA is studying whether there's a better way to gauge the safety of food additives like the ones Illinois tried to ban. Secretary of State Alexi Janulius says it's about time. The agency's action is unprecedented and marks a solid, albeit embarrassingly late, first step for consumers. The FDA's meeting is open to the public, and there's a virtual option to attend and submit comments. I'm Alex Stegman. Social media remains a hotbed for false information in the lead-up to November's election. Illinois State Board of Elections spokesperson Matt Dietrich says in addition to people falling for misinformation, bad actors are gaming the system. We're not talking about Russia trying to steal votes or manipulate voting machines. They know that that's virtually impossible. So what they've done instead, and other countries have done, they've infiltrated social media to do social engineering on social media users, pit Americans against each other. Dietrich says any election information on social media should be greeted with skepticism and critical thought. An Illinois State University professor who put together a film series leading up to the November election says the series shows the similarities between politics in the past and present. Lauren Bretzlovsky coordinated the film series at the Normal Theater. I think for each of these, they're good uh, opportunities to do that compare and contrast. Uh, What are some things that seem pretty similar to today? ISU will also host a speaker series called Democracy in Focus. I'm Lindsay Jones.